Hello and welcome to another video by PCSimplest.com. My name is Zach and in today's video we're talking about hooking up your computer to your TV. It's a pretty simple thing to do, um, but some people may have trouble with it, so we're going to kind of guide you through the process of what you need to look for and what you need to do both from your computer to your TV and then uh, we'll just you know show you everything that we can and get you started on it. So to get started we need to make sure that we one have our computer but from our computer we need to see whether we have a VGA import or an HDMI import. So we can do that by kind of looking around the sides of it. If it's a laptop uh, it should be like on the sides you should have some different options uh, for things to plug in on the sides. Um, so uh, on my laptop I actually have a VGA import and it may be kind of hard to see um, and I also have an HDMI. So I have both on this computer. You may not have both. You may just have a VGA um, port to plug into um, and you may just have an HDMI port to plug into. It's, it's going to vary. Um, if you have a desktop computer you'll definitely have a VGA. Um, you may also have an HDMI um, plug-in on your desktop computer, you know, your tower. Um, that really varies depending on, you know, which which type of computer you have. So that's something you just have to look for to see if you have um, those plugins for that. Um, we also need to make sure that we have HDMI cable if you have an HDMI uh, plug-in for your, for your computer and your TV also supports HDMI. Um, we'll definitely want to see if we have uh, an extra HDMI cable laying around. If you have VGA, here's a typical VGA cable right here. Usually they have the blue ends. You know, they look like this. Uh, if you have that on your computer, you may also have it on your TV. So you need to look on the back of your TV. And we're going to show you the back of my TV that I'm going to use uh, so you can see what you need to look for. So here we have the back of the TV that I'm using. And you can see here that I have both HDMI and VGA imports here. Um, this is our VGA right here. This is our HDMI. So we've determined that the TV that I have has both imports that we're talking about, VGA and HDMI. We've also determined that the laptop that I'm using that I want to plug this TV into also has HDMI and VGA imports. So now we're just going to go ahead and plug one in. And we're going to talk about the differences between HDMI and VGA. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged in and we'll show you what's happening next. So the difference between VGA and HDMI is the HDMI connection that you plug into your TV will carry the sound from your laptop to your TV. So all the sound from the videos that you're playing on your laptop and that are you know showing on your TV, the sound will actually come from your TV, which is a great thing because in my case, the sound on my laptop is pretty poor. I cannot hear it worth anything. So when I plug it into my TV, all the sound comes through that and I can have it as loud as I want, which is fantastic. So that means the VGA, that just, that just shows you the screen. That's it. It just shows video, period. So if you were trying to play videos, you'd either have to play the sound from your laptop and hope to hear that, or you could plug in some speakers and have you know, external speakers going to your laptop and you know, providing you the sound. So again, you know, those are the differences between the HDMI and the VGA. Both very doable things if you're just trying to show some maybe pictures on the other screen on your TV or whatever. Or, um, you know, if you're looking to play movies, which I use my laptop as, you know, my Netflix, basically, um, computer. Because I always have my laptop plugged into my TV, and I'm always watching Netflix through my TV, which is extremely convenient. So if that's something you're looking to do, um, hopefully you have an HDMI cable, because it'll make it a lot easier for you. So now that we've talked about the differences between your HDMI cable and your VGA cable, we can talk about what we can change on our actual computer when we're trying to display whatever we want on our actual TV. Uh, I showed you before that when we first plug in our HDMI cable to our TV, it's just going to clone you know, whatever we have on, the, on our computer to the TV. But what if we wanted to extend you know, our desktop? What if we wanted to use your laptop as one screen and your TV as a second screen? that kind of expands our options. So we can do more things, we can have more things going, etc. Um, that's the way that I always do it because sometimes you may run into resolution issues and we just kind of want to avoid that. So let's kind of dive into 
changing our options on our computer. Now that everything's plugged in, we need to go ahead and change some resolution options on our computer so that everything on our TV is displayed correctly. Currently, we're seeing a clone. So whatever we have on our computer is exactly what we see on our TV. But we don't exactly want that because sometimes we're going to run into resolution issues because our TV may have a higher resolution than our computer. So if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and change these things so that we have an absolutely fantastic picture on our TV so that when we're watching our movies and stuff we're able to see them perfectly fine. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and right click on our desktop and we're going to go to personalize. This option here is going to be the same in Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and even the Windows 10 preview. Uh, it's all going to kind of look similar to this. So once we right click on our desktop and click on personalization we're going to go ahead and click on this display link down here. From here, what we're looking for is adjust resolution. And once we find that, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see here where it says change the appearance of your display. You'll see here it says one, two, and we have one screen here. If we go down here, it says multiple displays. And the option that's listed is duplicate these displays. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is extend these displays. So now you'll see that we have two options here. Now we have both of our screens. We have our main screen, which is our computer, and then our second screen, which would be our TV. So once we do that, we can go ahead and click on Apply. And we're okay with these changes. So now that we've clicked Apply, you'll see that these two screens here that we have, one and two, have changed size. So you'll see on one that it's widescreen, on two it's more of a standard display. That's because right now I'm using my desktop computer with my two monitors to just record this section of our video so that you can see some of the differences that we're trying to look for here. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and say number one, that's always usually going to be our uh, computer that we're using. Number two that we're going to see is going to be our TV. And if we click on number two, we're going to have some different options here listed. We'll have resolution, and it's going to show what's recommended for that. And usually when we have our TV plugged in, it's also going to show the recommended resolution for that. So you may need to change that resolution size and go all the way up if you have to, because you want the best possible display that you're going to get. And like I said, it's always going to show what the recommended resolution is. You See if we were to, to move this uh, down here it's always going to show what our recommended resolution is for that. So as long as we're okay with that, you know, we're just going to hit okay. And now we're going to show you what happens when we set two displays separately than being cloned. So now that we have an extended display, we can show you what happens and we'll utilize that and show. So now that we've changed the options on our computer to extend our screens and thus utilize more options for using a second screen or using your TV as a monitor, um, this is one of the nifty things that you can do with it and I suggest learning how to do this because it's actually really um, a convenient way of doing things and it's you know more productive. So once we get our uh, settings correct we can take whatever's on our, you know, our laptop screen here and we could just move it over to our TV screen. So now that we've done that, we have everything over here on our um, TV. Now we can start, you know, watching, you know, our Netflix um, from our TV. And again, all the sound's going to carry through it over here. So I hope you find this useful and you start utilizing that.